Okay, next we're going to talk about overdamped arterial line waveforms. Again, I talk about all this and so much more in a much slower pace in my IC crash course, which is linked in my bio if you want to check it out. Okay, overdamped waveforms. So if you look at the square wave test, which if you don't know what a square wave test is, go to my last video and I talk about an optimally damped arterial line waveform and talk about square wave tests more in detail. But when you look at the square wave test, you can see here when you release that flush, you don't have any oscillations here. So if you have less than one and a half oscillations, your arterial line is overdamped. Another thing you may notice is that the dichrotic notch appears to be kind of like not as not as notchy or even absent. In an overdamped waveform, you're going to have an underestimated systolic blood pressure and an overestimated diastolic blood pressure, giving you a falsely low blood pressure overall. So if you perform your square wave test and you see this, know that your blood pressure is not giving you an accurate reading. I'm going to talk about some causes of overdamped and underdamped waveforms in a whole other video and how we can troubleshoot these things, so stay tuned.